and welcome back to my series on public speaking. This is going to be video two, where we're going to focus on some techniques that can make you a better speaker in general and just more able to talk about what you want to be talking about. But really quickly, let's go back and do a review of the first video, just in case it's been a little while since you watched it. So in that video, we talked about three warm-up techniques that you can use. The first one was stretching, the second one was push-ups, and the third one was deep breathing. And if you haven't seen that video, I would recommend that you go and check it out. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. The first technique that we're going to get into is really quite simple. To be honest, both of these are going to be pretty simple, but they're things that we don't really think about all that often. So the first one is slowing down. Slowing down. That's it. Just speaking a little bit more slowly can make you feel a lot more confident in what you're saying and allow you to have the time to think through what you want to be saying. Think back to a time when you got really excited about something and your heart was beating and you wanted to tell people so bad and you said everything really, really fast, but you kept, kept tripping over your words and you couldn't actually get all your ideas out. That's what happens when you're speaking in front of people and you get nervous. So to get around that, we really just want to try slowing down. For instance, I might say, talk about soccer and say, I love soccer so much. I love playing defense because it lets me see the whole field and I feel like I can kind of control what people are doing by talking to my teammates. And then I can talk to the goalie and just have a good sense of the whole field. Versus if I was really excited and I didn't slow down, I might say, I love soccer, I love kicking the ball and shooting goals and, and all this, and it's just too much. So next time you get really excited about something, you can try just slowing down a little bit, taking some pauses, and really thinking through what you want to say before just blurting it all out at once. Our second technique is going to be eye contact. The amount of eye contact that you make with someone can make a big difference on how well you can connect with them and tell them your story. If you're talking to someone and you're not making that much eye contact and you're kind of looking around as you're speaking, that's not going to be quite as engaging as if I'm looking right at you. On the other hand, if I'm doing nothing but looking right at you and it's just looking right in the eyes and it's just too much, that's not so much fun either. It can make people kind of uncomfortable. So you've got to find that balance between looking people in the eyes and looking away a little bit just to make them comfortable. One good tip to think about for this one is instead of looking right in the eyes, that can be kind of intimidating, try thinking about looking at people right between their eyebrows. It's a lot easier to look at someone in the eyebrows and when you're speaking to a group of people, they can't really notice if you're looking them right in the eyes or not. So it can make it a little bit easier to do this. And that's it. Those are our two techniques that are going to make you so much more comfortable and confident when you're talking to people. So they are just slowing down when you're speaking and making this sort of eye contact that makes you feel really comfortable about talking to your friends or family or classmates or whoever it is. So I hope that you get to practice these a little bit. I challenge you to practice these when you're talking to people. Try slowing down, taking some pauses, looking people in the eyes, and I'll see you next time for our next video where we go into some different ways that you can practice this and some different challenges that you can give yourself to speak in front of more people.